Good evening. It's uh, day 26. Good evening. It's uh, day 26, Thursday, May 26. First Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 to 2. I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live in peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Scripture Insights In Paul's first recorded letter to Timothy, a young leader appointed to give guidance to the Ephesian church, Paul offers Timothy advice for his congregation. Chapter 2 addresses the importance of proper worship. Paul's priority for prayer as worship must not be lost on us. He urges our prayers to include petitions or making requests for specific needs, prayers, bringing people before the throne of God, intercession, appealing boldly on their behalf, and thanksgiving, offering th thankfulness for them. Paul goes on to specifically exhort the Ephesians to pray for kings and all those in authority. Why? The duty of the state is to keep the peace, protect its citizens, preserve law and order, and punish evil. John Stott questioned, is the slow progress towards peace and justice in the world and towards world evangelization due more than anything else to the prayerlessness of the people of God? What would happen if God's people throughout the world learned to wait upon Him in believing, persevering prayer? Our petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving are to be made for everyone. Today's prayer, King of kings and Lord of lords, guide us to pray for your kingdom, for your coming kingdom. Forgive us for the times we have made it about our perceived empires. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Prayer journal reflections. What is the Holy Spirit saying to you today about the Lord's protection, direction, and revelation for your life? and the life of the Lafilnas Church. Our devotion for tonight is uh, written by Rose Brower Young, District Superintendent, Canada West. Thank you. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.